Let's see what we're getting ourselves into. A lot better than the, what they used to be. Oh, look at this artwork. Let's go. I'm excited to try this game. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I've never played this. I, okay, first and foremost, the fact that I can go to options before getting into the game, massive W. I hate the games where it's like, you gotta not only make your character, but also finish the tutorial just to get into your options and turn turn down the volume. I hate that. I love the fact that these games from NCSoft now are all, well, a lot of them are localized in English already. It's fantastic. Oh, tell you the base how to move. You can change the camera point of view. Okay. Movement feels pretty good. Graphics look fucking gorgeous. Holy shit. Is my dude... Wait, is this a guy or a girl? I can't tell. Chat. I mean, there's one that, like, I usually try to tell if I'm playing a guy or a girl by looking at a specific body feature, and I cannot tell if that's a bump or not a bump. Bro, the graphics look amazing! Look, I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into, but please give me an MMORPG with these graphics. Holy shit. Could be the shittiest game ever, but graphically, this is what I'm expecting. I immediately enter the game, and the first thing I think of is, wow, this looks great. So the movement field, WASD at least, feels pretty fluid. Wow, there's no jump. Space is dodge. And I see there's a little cooldown on it. Shift is dash. The jump part is going to kind of... Oh, whoa. I guess I can do that little jumping thing while I'm uh, while I'm sprinting. It's a sprinting dodge. Oh, okay. So this is like this feels like kind of Genshin. I think these are heroes right here. Oh, left mouse button. I can click left mouse button on a spot. And I move there. Don't really like that. G? G does nothing. F? Unable to see any targets that are attackable. I think this is auto combat. I, I, I'm assuming this is going to be auto combat. We'll find out. All right. Yeah, this, is, this feels very Genshin-esque so far. Maybe this is NCSoft's new Genshin impact. I don't know. Okay. Voice acting, quest dialogue. Pretty, pretty top notch, I'll say. Ooh, character screen. What's happening? Yo, I can drag my character around like this? That's kind of interesting. What the heck is this? What is that? Oh, oh, we get to do some combat? Force Master. Hongbi. Fire attacker range. Okay. Fire attacker range, I think is what it said. Collect hermit crab shells. This is literally the same shit that you do in BNS at the very beginning. First, I'll tell you about the basics of battle. Okay. The target mark is displayed on enemies in the direction of the camera. Here, press the attack button to automatically attack the enemy with the target mark. Tap the attack. Okay. Here we go. Select here to use you soul's skill. One. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty cool animation. Okay. I mean, this is, uh, this is about as mobile as it gets. Genshin and, yeah, is definitely, but Genshin is an autoplay, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't there no auto combat in Genshin? This is Genshin maybe with auto combat, but we, I, I still have no idea if this is a gacha game though. Right now when the opponent is using an AOE attack, use dash with the arrow keys and the space key to move quickly. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's a nice little parry effect. Okay, so there's a little bit of they do they really like this um parry timing effect, huh? Same same in throne. Alright, we got some crystals. Return to Hongbi. Alright, looks like we got a hero, maybe. Oh, she just went into me. Alright, so I guess I can't transform into her. Oh, okay. So these are actually just skills. They don't actually summon a different hero like Genshin. So if I use two, it summons her. She uses an ability. Okay. Looks like you're used to using skills now. Okay. I'll tell you about the hero types and monster weak spots. All heroes have a type out of six types. You can differentiate between hero type through colors or character slots. And they are on the bottom right in the quick slots below. Okay. Monsters have weak spots against various types. Hitting them with skills of the type that is relevant to their weak spots will fill the weak spot gauge. And at the weakened state, the enemy's, enemy's battle abilities will greatly decrease. When weakened state is removed, you cannot inflict them with another weakened state for a period of time. Use useful's water type skills to target the, the monster's weakness, okay? Water's right there. Next up is Hongbi, fire type, okay? Okay, there's a weakened state. Success, the enemy has entered weakened state and its battle abilities have been greatly decreased, okay? Let's continue. Let's follow the arrow. I can't actually jump. That's kind of annoying. I don't like the fact that I can't jump in this game. That doesn't feel good that I can't jump. 
Teams are coming from the village. Joint attack. Using skills in succession activates the joint attack. Skills you can block with joint attacks are displayed at the top. And using a joint attack here will incapacitate the opponent's skill and deal great damage. The AoE attack of skills that cannot be blocked are marked in red. The AoE attack of skills that can be blocked are marked in white. Okay, joint attack here. The enemy is preparing a skill now. Interfere with the skill by using joint attack. A joint attack is, a power is powerful because it combines your, the skills of your abilities. One. Okay, use another hero skill within the combo time to increase the combo level. Two. Use a combo two or more times to activate the joint attack. It can hinder the enemy's attack. E. The joint attack becomes more powerful with more combos. You can activate up to three joint attacks in a combo. When monsters are prevented from using skills, their defense abilities become weak. All right, so the combat, at least it's not completely brain dead. There's a little bit of play there. I don't know, like, do you, would you guys... There's a lot of Genshin vibes that come from this, but this, this is definitely not Genshin. Prodigy, supporter ranged. We got a hero. I like the animations. That's really cool. Ooh. Come into me. Roles are composed of attacker, defender, supporter, and tactician. Attackers are main dealers. Are the main dealers. I love how in Korean, they just call damage dealers dealers. Defenders have defensive abilities and protect the team. Supporters replenish HP and maintain the battle. And tacticians have various abilities, such as maintaining the battle and weakening enemy abilities. Okay. Form quest. If you look at the minimap, the quest goals will be displayed in yellow. You can go to your quest destination by pressing here. It is useful for talking to NPCs and hunting monsters. Well, let's go. I got a solo eliminate Ute Raiders, three of them. Yeah, I think if you guys are looking for like a mobile game that you want to play and you're just bored, I don't know, maybe you'll play this. This is not going to fill that appetite if your appetite is requiring you to play some action combat fully fledged MMO. This is not that. If you want, if you want to play something on the side, honestly, even as a main game, but like you're okay with just like kind of auto combat and just a little bit more passive play rather than action combat. I mean, there is real time combat. There's some stuff, but you know what I mean? All right, let's continue. Find out about clan growth. Okay, boom. You can view information about your hero's power in clan level here. Oh, this little housing thing. Don't forget that when your clan fame goes up, you can obtain various benefits, including star points, depending on the fame you've reached. You can check clan fame rewards here. Make sure to claim clan fame. Okay, we got it. 100,000 of these. Okay, I get a straw manor card. UI looks great. I mean, it's obviously designed for mobile, but I actually like the way the UI looks What's happening here. Dude, I like this ink, this ink theme. Oh, and here it comes. It is gotcha. But let's take a look. You can recruit heroes when you meet them at the tavern. This time, let's try newbie hero recruit. Why don't you give me like an... Okay, all right, fine. Guaranteed an SSR hero upon recruiting 50 times. If you're ready, use the recruit heroes button to obtain heroes. Oh, wait, we're going to get a 10 pull. Okay. Oh, wait, you have to open the door for each one. Okay, we got Golden Deva. Is he good? I don't know. I kind of saw a purple light. You want, you always, general rule of thumb with these gacha games, you always want like a yellow light, right? Maybe he's an epic. Purple again. Dark Demon Unak. Oh, wait, but that one didn't actually have, wait a second. Is this big? This is orange. Wait, are we getting orange? It's actually Roadhog, dude. What is this? That's <laughs> Roadhog. Wait, did we get... I don't know if these are good pulls or bad pulls. I really can't tell. Oh, three? Oh, this must be a huge one. This is like a huge animation. Bro, this guy looks like my Throne and Liberty character with that hat. This must be an SSR. Has to be, right? That was like a special cutscene. This had to be my guarantee. Pre-registration reward. Who's she? Okay, free. Like free. So I have 90 of these crystals. Oh boy. It cost a thousand for a 10 pull. I don't know. It's not showing me the price though. Let's take a look at these other packages here. Okay, so starter package, event package. We got a monthly blessing. All right, clan fame rewards more passes weekly monthly special items 
Oh, we got this for free. Very nice. Thank you. Monthly special item, Divinite. This has to be $100. It has. I would bet the house that this is $100. $100 for 4800 I'm assuming I get double. A one-time purchase will get me double. So I will get 9600 so if this is a hundred, let's just say it's a hundred bucks. That means it's $25 for a 10 pull. What is this? Outfits? Oh my goodness. They, okay. Th I can tell this outfit probably looks pretty good. Preview skin. Okay. Hmm. Yura, the goddess of change. Oh, yes. I want her. Oh, whoa. Wait, is she a... Okay, she's like a swordsman. This girl is in the... Is in the regular BNS. Is she not? She's the princess. She's wearing the same exact outfit. Or is this just like the general princess outfit? I don't know. Cheru. What is this? What the hell is this? Yo, okay, this is a pretty cool weapon. I thought it was a great sword, but they're fucking scissors. That's pretty sick. Yo, best killer in Jiang Hu. Sansu. Wait, isn't this chat? For those of you who are BNS experts, I need you guys to tell me which one of these characters are in the regular BNS. I could have sworn I've seen this guy in the regular BNS. These characters do look pretty sick. Who's this? Sniper? What? Bro, holy, Dude, there's a lot of heroes. All right, okay, okay, okay. So we're, <laughs> we got a little sidetracked there looking at the characters. Let's go back to the cash shop, yeah? All right, so we've got, we've got skins. What are cabinets? I have no idea. Three musketeers, just more skins. Okay, items. Okay, I guess that's it. Wait, what are these other boards? Lightning favor select. Proceed with selected hero recruit. I mean, it's only 20,000. What? Oh, it's not that guy. It's it's a it's another guy. Okay. Recruit heroes guaranteed SSR. Select your desired type. Okay, so these are the SSRs. Chance info. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. So what we're looking for, we're looking for the people that have the purple backgrounds. Okay, we got Jung Hado. We got a blue. We got a blue background, so we got an SR. I believe, right? Yeah, and these guys are kind of kind of shit. Light blue. Okay, light blue are just probably just regular R's. You don't get a single SSR to start? That kind of sucks. Change. Oh, wait, I can change the leader? Does that mean I'm going to have a different person I'm going to be controlling? Oh, okay, so I do get to change into whatever hero I get. Ah, all right. I just have to set him as the party leader. Okay, hero growth. Man. Okay, I like the fact that this game teaches you and walks you through a lot of stuff, but man, there's quite a bit. When a hero's level increases, so does their attack and defense. Also, skill level increases at set intervals, so level growth is most important. You could raise hero level with elixirs. Let's use one right away. Insert as many materials as you want and hit this button to level up. Let's just level them up once. Easy attack and defense plus one. Easy. Okay. Go to Western Beach. I don't even know what, like, guys, how would you even describe this game? It's like a Genshin Impact gotcha, gotcha game, but with, like, auto combat, but not completely automated combat. Yeah, it's auto combat. It, 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 it is and it isn't. So, like, there's auto attack, right? So, I hit F and I... I just auto attack. That's it. That's the only thing auto about it. But so like I have to actually use these abilities and dodge this dude accordingly. So I hit G, which puts me in stance, unable to block. Okay. So like I use my one skill and then I can dodge after this right at the right time. That gives me a perfect parry. That procs this little E. And I could use like that. I'm going to summon him. He has a weakness. I'm going to summon him. I'm going to dodge that. So it is act but it's no and i don't know if i call this an mmo either something about this seems very mmo like what did i just get oh we got a recruit ticket this is the best part of the game it's the best part of the game who do i get who the hell's this the hell's this? 
She's adorable. Wait, is this an SSR? Is this my first SSR? Oh, this is, she is. She's an SSR. She's adorable. She's a water ranged attacker, and she's so cute. I will say, out of all the gotcha games I've ever played, where NCSoft probably beat all the other gotchas is like the animation when you get the SSR. This is probably the best I've seen. This game, hands down, has the best animation when you pull an SSR. I don't know what the fuck I'm pulling, but that was like a fucking movie that we just watched. <laughs> That's about it. I, I, I don't know if I like anything else about the game. <laughs> like the animations, the characters looks great. I really like, but that's pretty much it, man. For me, that's the only thing I really like about this game. Team, there it is. Team, 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 team. Like, I love this. Again, it's not going to be enough to keep me in, but like things like this, you see even, even just like the roster lineup right here, how it's kind of like animated and moving. I, I like that a lot. And, and I don't know why they're allowing me to do this. <laughs> This is really fucking cool, but like, I don't know what the purpose of this is. Bro, I can do this all day. There's something that's so satisfying about this. This is the type of polish we need in, in, in modern day MMOs, man. Like, where is this type of polish? Gameplay, questionable. This menu shit, awesome. S tier. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see her. Oh, look, she's so small. Look how she runs. Look how she runs. Why? Why does she run like that with that face? Oh, wait a second. There's a world map. Bamboo Coast, Songsu Isle, Pond Skip Vale, Everdusk, Tomoon Range, and Scorching Sands. I guess item level 11,000, 7,000 to 11,000 ish to level 40. Maybe level 40 is the cap chat. I don't know. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to play this game again. <laughs> not really my type we went into this game with zero information we had no idea what the hell to expect come to find out this is essentially ncsoft's take on the gotcha series this is pretty much their version of genshin i really like the look of the characters the animation the polish of the game like when it comes to like the menus and everything looks really nice but i could see some people liking the combat here it's nothing crazy obviously it's auto attack but that's about the only thing that's auto about it because all the other abilities and the things that you use they are used actively it feels a little bit more now I, I can't even say turn-based i don't know what this feels like this is a little bit of a different take on combat i think for me personally it's whatever yeah guys honestly i don't know what else to say because i really didn't play that much i'm literally level three I'm not going to give a review on this video because i don't know what the main content is like at end game or any of that stuff but um if you are interested in this game i hope this uh maybe gave you a little bit more insight as to what to expect with it and if you haven't heard of this game, well, now you have. <laughs> okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.